Hello, welcome back to another video. Have you ever wondered whether the stock wheels on a bike are worth upgrading to a decent set of wheels and what the difference actually is? Today, we're going to find out. These are the Bontrager Affinity stock wheels that come with my Damani SL5. And if any of you have watched any of my videos, you know how much I love that bike. But how can I make that bike even more awesome than it is currently? Well, the Hunt Aero 35s, what I decided to upgrade with. Uh, lots of research to find out which wheels would be best for me. And as it's quite a heavy frame, I decided to go for the lightest wheel set I could find with the best review. And Hunt Aero 35s are rated one of the best wheels on the market at the moment. And a few rides I've been on so far, they are absolutely awesome. But what is the difference between the heavy 2.2 kilogram wheel set and the 1357 grams of the Hunt Aero 35s? Significantly in feel, it feels amazing the difference. But what about time? Well, I am gonna take the Damane on the local TT course, which is a 20 odd minute um, lap, it's quite hilly, it's downhill, it's flat. It's a good test for which wheel set is best and what the difference will be. And I'm interested to find out how quicker these wheels are, if indeed quicker, and whether it was worth the upgrade. All right, so this is my Damani SL5. I've put the Bontrager Affinity wheels back on and we're gonna take this one out first, so I'm freshest. So uh, it should be a good test. All right, so I'm heading on over to the start now. And the idea being that I'm gonna go as flat out as I can on the stock wheels. And then I'm gonna go back, swap them over and go flat out on the new hump wheels, which I already know feel awesome, but I want proof just how awesome they actually are and how much better they are. I think the Club TT, first one this week, managed 19 and a half minutes was the winning time. I think second was 22 minutes something, and there were only two taking part. So a bit hard to gauge. Not uh, all that many times on it, but I will see what I can do. Right, so most last year I was blaming filming vlogs as to why I wasn't quite as fast as I used to be. And I was seeming to struggle every time I went on a ride. But really putting in hard work and then sort of dying towards the end of a ride. It wasn't until I switched back onto my Canyon that has some Carbon Aero Fast Forward F6s that it suddenly feel really easy again. And I thought, I am actually fit than I thought which brought me back to these wheels. That's been lots of hard work just to keep the bike moving. So I'm hoping this test proves that theory. Right, so here we go. That's the start there. And it goes on up, up the hill towards Marshall's Elm. Wish me luck. I feel like I paced out really well. So let's upload it and have a look. And we've done it in the fifth fastest time with 22.03. So that's the benchmark I've got to beat. Uh, I think we can easily do that. I think there's more in there. Just, uh, just it does feel quite sluggish being back on it again, having been on the, the hump wheel. So what we'll do is I'll recover. I'll go back, switch the wheels out and we'll come back and do this again. <laughs> yeah. All for science. Right, so I'm back home. Just a quick wheel change. Put the hunts on and then we'll go again. It is hot today. <laughs> Probably not the best day to be doing this. Right, so now we've got the hunts on there. It's all back nice and lovely and light. Let's see how fast it is. Now for round number two. I'm not sure how much the fatigue from the first run is going to play a part in the science of all this, but I still think this bike will be quicker on these wheels. So just have to take that into account really.
deliberately not had low segments on so that I wouldn't know on the way around try and make it fairer oh but the fatigue got me then that felt harder but it did feel quicker so let's have a look at the proof see what the time was uh, made it about a minute and 16 seconds so I'm pleased with that so let me pedal home we'll have a look at the stats in a bit more detail we'll have a look at the comparison side by side but these wheels as I said before I even started I knew these wheels are awesome get yourself a pair of Hunt Aero 35s or any Hunt wheels they're all award winning uh, and there's a reason why they are truly awesome all right so first I should point out I've paid full price for these wheels I have no affiliation with Hunt wheels whatsoever but if we have a look at the comparison side by side, Hunt is the purple, Bond Trader is the black, and all the way through, the Hunt wheels are ahead. So the Hunt wheels are 32 seconds ahead at the top of the climb, and they gain another seven seconds going down the hill, but another 35 seconds on the roll in coming in. If we look at the comparison though, the Bond Trader average heart rate was 170, the average power was 267, with a max of 748, the average cadence was 84, and an average speed of 30.7 totaling 2203. So if we compare that to the hunt run, the average heart rate is exactly the same. The average power is 260, so slightly less. The max was only 604, which was less. The cadence was also less 81, but it was 2.2 kilometers an hour quicker at 32.5 kilometers an hour with a time of 2049, so one minute, 14 seconds quicker. Is upgrading your wheels worth doing? Absolutely yes. Have a look, see what sort of riding you're doing. These are aero, so they're good for the flat. They're light, so they're good for the hills. The rolling resistance is hardly anything. So, where would you look anywhere else? There you have it. Same awesome bike, different wheels, different outcome. Same old engine, uh, but fatigued legs second time round, which says it all really. So, really pleased with those wheels. So, uh, check them out, have a good look. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments. I will uh, do my best to answer. Other than that, I've now got to change the tyres <laughs> on uh, on the other set of wheels and put some 38 gravel tyres because uh, me, Pete and Ian have been invited to the uh, glorious gravel Somerset 100 for Sunday. So we're going along Breen Beach and up over Crooks Peak, Cheddar Gorge, off-road. So <laughs> that'd be interesting on this bike. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please check out some of my other videos. Uh, we've got plenty on the channel now and we will see you Sunday for a gravel ride.